Sir Rod Stewart set out to correct the claims made about his reason for returning to the UK after more than four decades of living in Los Angeles. Speaking to Chris Evans on his Virgin Radio show this morning, Sir Rod gushed over his love of England but quickly went on a tangent. He declared, there was a quote in the papers the other day and I must get it right, or right in it, that said I thought LA was toxic. I don't think it's toxic at all, that didn't come out of my mouth. The rock star gushed that he loves Los Angeles and revealed the American people have been very good to me but he and his wife, Benny Lancaster had simply felt it was now time to leave. The rock legend added that he now wants to live in the UK permanently and never stop loving the country he grew up in. He gushed, driving along today, there's no place better on earth than London and Britain when the sun's out. My god it's so busy down there. It's madness. Earlier this week, Inside sources claimed Sir Rod was leaving Los Angeles as he had grown tired of watching the toxic culture thrive in the bustling city. Don't miss! BBC's Chris Hollins breaks silence after football star dad John Hollins dies, latest, Stacey Solomon trying not to cry and career update after this morning rumors, update, John Irwin shares dying wish as presenter plans to go peacefully at home, insight, another source told the Daily Mail, Rod has always considered Britain to be his home. Los Angeles was everything that he needed it to be for that time in his life, but it is obvious that he does not favor LA anymore. It has just gotten so toxic and he has zero privacy in the city. Additionally, it was also noted that his wife Penny had grown tired of having to travel back and forth as their two sons, Alistair and Aidan, go to school in the UK and she volunteers as a police officer in London. Radio DJ Chris candidly shared a poignant declaration during his chat with Sir Rod, adding, Time doesn't do refunds. Sir Rod exclaimed in return, Yes, my two boys, 15 and 12, are going to school here. The musician briefly interrupted Chris as he corrected himself adding, Sorry Alistair, you're 17 mate. The Maggie May singer admitted elsewhere in the conversation that, for him, one of the biggest downsides of his career is having to spend so much time away from his eight children while he goes on tour. However, the 78-year-old won't have to worry about that much longer as he also announced his current tour would be his last one. I'll take